Hey guys, what is up? I play game now here, and today we're coming at you guys with some more Hexit. This is uh, our new Hexit Let's Play. Why is the red? Are you sure? I've never noticed this. I'm Sorry, I have to mind this. It, it was it's bugging me. Okay, okay, let's cover that back up. No one saw anything. All right, there was nothing there. You didn't see anything. All right. So, um, I'm actually gonna need to briefly refresh my memory. Okay, we have found diamonds. Good, 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 good. That's good. Okay, anyway, sorry. I'm getting all weird here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm confused. I'm lost. Someone help me. Um, okay. So, I'm hoping you can cook scrap meat. And you can't. Um, so what's the point of scrap meat? What happens if you eat it? Oh, it heals you hap- Well... That was uh, very useful. I appreciate that scrap meat, even though you suck. Okay. But I think that's the whole point of scrap meat. It's not supposed to be real good, you know. Because, I mean, it is called scrap meat for a reason, guys. Okay. So, shut up. Okay. So, um, this episode, I'm planning on making the smeltery. Um, because we have the ingredients needed. Um, because we have all the seared bricks, all that kind of stuff, except I might need some glass, a good amount of glass, actually. Oh, balls, that's not good. We're going to need to go down real quick. Uh, okay, hold on. Sorry, I want to expand this a little bit more, um, just to the point where we're not feeling a little bit cramped when it comes to the surface, um, because I don't want to be, like, just mining... Mining this little, like, like, extending the tunnel and then be randomly popping up into the surface. Like, that would not be fun. That would be not a fun time. I tell you what, not a fun time. Alright, so we went left. So we want to go... Well, actually, I'll just do that and then we'll go right. Okay, so I'm going to expand this out a little bit more. Not too much more. Just a little bit. And then I will throw in a room. I'm not sure how big I want to make it, but... Oh, that's going to annoy me. Just one singular block of marble cobble. Okay, so anyway, I'm just going to make it right here. Um, make it three high like the rest of them. Um, except this one is going to have to be a little bit bigger um, as the smeltery takes up... I mean, it doesn't take up a ton of room. It just takes up... A good amount, you know, one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, and four. All right, so let's dig that up. Um, all right, so let's spread out a little bit, not too much. Don't have to go overkill on this part, but I kind of did. Um, but you know, it's what I do, okay? It's what I do. All right, so we're this is probably. It'd be a little tedious stuff to do, just mining this all out. It's not the funnest thing to watch, but I know, guys, it's not the funnest thing. You don't have to yell at me. But um, with this smelter, if you guys are not um, aware of what you can do, um, there's certain ores you can combine to create new ores. Or, no, you can melt down ores, ball sack. You can melt, <laughs> you can melt down ores in the smeltery and if there are certain specific ores they will automatically combine with each other um, to create a new substance and this substance um, is in, in most cases better um, or or you can take ores from the um, I'm not sure if it works with ingots also but anyway I do know for a fact that if you put an ore of iron or gold into the smeltery it will smelt down into molten, for example, iron. Now you put one iron ore in there, and it will come out. You can craft yourself two iron ingots. Yes, it exactly doubles it. It's amazing. It's extremely efficient. Um, and I'll definitely be using that for all of our ores. Like we'll not, we will not be smelting in a furnace anymore. We will be using the smeltery, um, unless it's something that you either don't you can't use in the smeltery or 
there's no point or it will mix with other things that we don't want to, it to mix with. So yeah, um, let's get this iron. Um, I guess that can be the first stuff that we slap in the smelter, just do tests with it, I guess. Um, but I'm going to have to use our handy dandy little m book right here, because um, I'm not, I might have to use the other book. I don't get why I'm looking at it now, but I will need to look at it just to refresh my memory on what we need to make. Um, I don't know if we need the tool forge or not. I don't think we do, because I do not remember crafting this. It's probably for something else, but um, I'm not going to craft that for now because I know that I don't need it for this part. So um, get this. Smeltery controller, we're going to need that. We're going to need a good amount of seared bricks. Um, I need to get mighty smelting. I want one of these, though. Hmm. I need to make a separate one of these, which is a piece of paper. Ooh. Uh, oh, wait. Finish what you were doing in the first place, you piece of poop. It's just I want the red book for the modifiers, but I also want the mighty smelting book um, just so I can, you know, figure out how to make it. So the smelter is a multi-block structure. You will need the following materials to get started. One smeltery controller, one seared tank, nine seared bricks, any combination of ten seared bricks, seared f tanks, or drains. Um... Seer tanks or drains, one faucet, one casting table. Um, see, it tells you exactly how to make it. Um, so we will look at that once we need it, um, which is when we're going to be making the thingamajig. And um, there's also something that I found from watching a Husky Mudkips video. Um, he was playing Mad Pack, and basically, um, with the Tinker's Construct, um, not the smeltery, but Tinker's Construct, you can craft, like, a special kind of, like, a Tears Construct stone pick, and with this stone pick, you can add upgrades to it, and with, like, a diamond and such, and it will make that stone pick practically, wow, practically invulnerable, or, like, unbreakable, because you can... Um, fix it at any point by adding another um, piece of um, what you call it um another piece of cobble onto it in a tinker's table. I don't recall what the tinker's table is, but anyway, it's extremely efficient. And I if I see this on the surface when I'm wandering around, I'm gonna cover it with dirt because it will bug me. But apparently, we didn't go down far enough. But anywho, um, let's continue to fill this in so we can be done here. And I'm hoping this room is big enough. Um, I don't see why it wouldn't be big enough, but I don't know. You never know. My luck can be uh, pretty bad sometimes, um, especially when I'm actually trying to do something. So let's slap those down over here. Um, is my inventory pull? I said I just said pull. Okay, um, it is full, um, but that's fine. It's just dirt, so we don't really have to worry much about picking that up. As it's, like I just said, just dirt. Okay, so let's put a torch right in the middle here. Alright, so this is the basis for the room for the smeltery. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh jeez, I almost sneezed. It like canceled itself out. It was like, nope, changed my mind. Um, anywho. So, um, I'm not going to craft that yet. I actually want to get started right away on the smeltery. Um, we have leather in here. Don't know if that's enough for a backpack yet, but I need to throw some stuff in the chest. Um, put that over there. We need these. Uh, bone meal. I'm going to create this into bone meal right away. Oh, boy. I just messed up. Um, hold on. Let's combine these. Make a little bit better of a pick. Um... What am I doing here? I really don't know what I'm doing here, to be completely honest with you guys. I'm not sure what I was... Oh, yeah, I was clearing space. Of course. Duh. Um, all right. Uh, what else did we need to make? We need to craft it. Crafted? Craft another one of these books. So let's look at the recipe. We need paper. I, I already remember it. We need paper, um, which I'm not sure if we had reeds. Have reeds or not. Anywhere nearby. Uh, 
We can check on the farm on our way through. Um, I can't tell what it looks like when it's fully grown. I think this might be it. Yes, it is. That grows pretty quick. All right. All right. That is nice right there. It's already a good amount of bread. Ooh, I jumped on it. I almost wrecked us all. I almost got us all wrecked right there. All right. <laughs> Let's continue to get that. I accidentally broke some seeds, but it's all right. Just got to continue to place it down. Um, so yeah, this is a lot more efficient, like I said, than bread, as we already have eight bread on us. We just have to bake it. Um, but I do not see any reeds anywhere, anywhere near, nearby. Uh, I don't see any far, far away either, in the distance. Uh, crap. It would be nice to have some reeds. Um, I don't know exactly why I'm calling it reeds. I do not normally call it reeds. I call it sugarcane. Like it's labeled in Minecraft, but what, whatever. Teach its own, I guess. Um, if I had a fishing rod right now, I'd be going fishing, which I could make one. Because um, I actually just figured this out. It's it's not an exploit, but it's like a little fancy dancy thing. Um, fi you can actually catch fish. Fish? Much? There's a much higher chance that you will catch fish in the rain which I literally just figured out it's kinda like a little minecraft trick like a tip that most people do not know um I, I for one did not know that um and look ooh, there's a ravine there I almost fell right in um but I for one did not know that um little helpful tidbit of information I guess um you guys now know it so uh Tell your friends, and I'm getting a little bit of a lag spike here. Um, just trying to look and see. If there's some reeds. There should be some reeds around here. It's a, it's a desert type, or a, like a desert sort of a biome. And I don't have a sword on me, do I? Yeah, I didn't make a sword. Well, that's great. I have a bow with some arrows in it, though. Oh, you want to go, mate? You want to go? Oh, get wrecked. Oh, man. That just got wrecked. Need to eat some food. Which I don't have much of on me. Ooh, this is a dangerous adventure we're going out on. Ooh, yes. Yes, we need those towers. Towers are good. Um, but there's no reeds. Why? Oh, boy, I heard an enderman teleport. Um, why does there have to be no reeds? It's not cool. Oh yes, I see someone in the distance there. Let's go get those, and then we are heading back to the base. It is nighttime. Nighttime is scary. Um, in all versions of Minecraft, especially Hexit. Um, I don't know why, but they, but I don't know. I I seem to think that it is, even though Hexit really doesn't add that many just mobs that just run around, die. Ooh, it's a two-head on spiders. Ooh, get out of here. Yeah, get wrecked, mate. All right, so I'm just going to leave these zombies alone as long as they leave me alone. But, oh, boy, they're not going to. These are mummies. Completely different. I don't even drop anything. That was useless. I'm just going to leave the rest of the mobs alone. Let them do their own thing, I guess. Uh, run. What is that? Ooh. Wait. What? I didn't know there was a village here. Maybe I did. I haven't played in too... It's been too long. And by too long, I mean a day. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Those villagers are about to get wrecked. Um, if there was a village there, I probably knew of it. Ooh. Listen. Oh! <gasps> Do you guys hear that? That was the sound, I believe, of a meteor. Um, normally, or a star, I'm not actually sure, I believe that's the sound a meteor makes, but it could also be a star piece landing somewhere, okay, that's a little risky, uh, um, dude, this has been, like, mostly an adventure episode, like, we were just venturing that whole time, hot oh, dang, alright, we got another couple arrows from that, that's always fancy dance, we got four left, um, that, me saying four left there just made me realize once again that 
there's an arrow counter in the bottom right, which is actually pretty handy, especially if you're using a bow. Which, oh crap, I missed. Which I don't normally use a bow. Are you see? I just missed. Uh, excuse me, bud. I need my arrows. Excuse me! You don't have to be so rude! Well, Jack Wagon. Alright, let's get back inside our humble abode. I believe that's what it's called. Um, let's plant some sugar cane, actually. Don't want to use up all. I believe I only need one piece of paper at this moment, so I'm only going to keep one. Okay. Let's return real quick, get inside. So I feel a bit safe, and there's a zombie. He'll try to break down our door. So we need to get rid of him. Ooh, got some leather. We have enough leather for a backpack. That's going to be pretty awesome. Um, Once I get the rest of it, this actually might be enough right here. But anywho, um, let's get this farming crap out of my inventory. Um, hmm. Oh, we can bake some bread. Right here. Huh. Um, string. String, string, string. We want to keep that. Um, string can be very useful in the future here. Um. Uh, we should probably start on the smeltery. Because I said we were going to start on the smeltery like a year ago. Um, but I do want to make that. Gosh darn it. Um. The extra book. And a piece of paper. Hold up. I just made sure. God dang it. To get a piece of paper, you need like three sugar. What am I thinking? Three sugar cane, I mean. Jeez Louise, man. I am a pro at Minecraft. Ladies and gentlemen, you're witnessing a pro play Minecraft. Like a legitimate pro. I don't. I don't <laughs> yeah. Seeing in here first. Um. Wait, what does that give you? Pulp? I don't know what pulp is. I thought this was how you made it. <gasps> uh, I cry every time. Um, Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I just put it in the wrong order. Wow. That's silly. That has to be side by side here. Alright, so and then I can level this up to a red one and we have each. Okay, perfect. Um... So let's get going here. We need, uh, we need one smeltery controller. Um, just build like this. Okay. What else do we need here? We need a seared tank. I know that seared. Oopsies. Seared tank. All right. So that's okay. So we need one of those. Surrounded by this. Okay, what else do we need up in here? I got two of them. Okay, I'm cool with that, I guess. Um, nine seared bricks. So we need nine. So one, two, nine. <laughs> I'm just going to skip counting all in between. Okay, I don't know how to count, apparently. <laughs> apparently. Um, so... And then it says any combination of 10 seared bricks, seared tanks, or drains. Um, I don't know where you actually need to put those. I believe that's for the bottom, but I'm not 100% sure. So I am going to make some extra seared bricks once we get the rest of this. So how do you get a faucet and all that stuff? Oh, it gives us the recipes right here. So seared faucet is three. Um, casting table. Casting basin. I believe I need that too. Yeah, basin. I want a basin. Um, all right. So let's make it up here. Yo, boom, boom, boom. We got a faucet. I'm gonna make a couple of those. We actually need a couple of those if we want a basin. Um, casting table. Um, what else here? Uh, casting table. We need like the opposite of that for a basin. Yep. Okay. Ooh, this grout is in my way. We can actually put that in the furnace to make some more. Okay. Um, is that all we need? Uh, actually, uh, I think so. We just need more seared bricks. So we're going to make the rest. Oops, I can just do this, can I? Yep. Make the rest into seared bricks. All right. 
So we have a good start here. I don't believe this is going to be enough um, things, though. I think we might need a little bit more. But it is a good start. So let's get started right off the bat here. I don't have a good enough pick. Probably could have made one a while back here. But, you know, I'm, I'm a little lazy, okay? I'm just a little lazy.